Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Software and Systems Academy October Briefing. My name is Fiona Jones and I'm a Career Development Manager at Microsoft Military Affairs. Today I'll be talking all about my MSSA, making sure to highlight all things specific to the European programme and also cover any differences pertaining to UK service leavers and veterans. If after the brief you still have questions, please refer to the FAQ section on the MSSA website. The Microsoft Software and Systems Academy is a full-time 17-week program. It's a full-time commitment for those 17 weeks, Monday to Friday, 8 till 5. The European program is delivered in Central European time, so if you are based in the UK, you need to be able to be in class 7 till 4. We will provide you with technical and professional development instruction. Each cohort can have up to 15 participants and the whole of the program is fully funded by Microsoft. So for US um, service leavers, no GI Bill is needed. And for UK service leavers, no SLCs, ELCs, no payment at all. These are our accumulative program metrics. To date, we've had almost 4,000 graduates. Our graduation rate is currently 95%. The principal element for participants to not graduate, graduate is personal reasons. Very rarely is it academic related. Typically, 13% go on to pursue a degree after our programme, and of those working, 91% are in IT roles. Over a 1,000 companies have employed our graduates. We have a fantastic corporate engagement team who are always bringing on new hiring partners. These are some of the roles on the right-hand side of the slide. You can see some of the roles that our grads have been hired into. This should give you an idea of the variety of roles that open up after you attend an MSSA program. The MSSA program is remotely facilitated for the whole 17 weeks. You get industry leading, leading live instructor led technical training. Your place of duty is the classroom and it is expected that absences are kept to a minimum as the program is quite rigorous. We recognise you'll have transitioning appointments around final medicals, etc., and we will work with you to accommodate them, but all absences need to be cleared in advance with your career development manager. Technical instruction is 8 till 4, Monday to Thursday. Um, 4 till 5, Monday to Thursday, is used to check in with your technical instructors. Um, your career development manager will check with you, and you can cover any admin. 8 till 5 each Friday is professional development, a whole day focused on helping you make a successful transition into the corporate world of IT. Week 9, there is no technical instruction. It is a purely professional development focused week. You will have guest speakers, you will work on your CVs and resumes, optimise your LinkedIn profile, sit mock interviews and attend company presentations. Every day of the programme, you'll have a scheduled lunch break and a morning and afternoon breaks. This is a full time programme and we are fully committed to help you succeed. You also need to be fully committed to practising, completing labs and homeworks outside of class hours. Now let's look a little deeper at what makes up the programme. All of the technical curriculum is delivered by Microsoft official learning partners. For MSSA Europe, it is delivered by Skillsoft Global Knowledge. All of your technical instructors are Microsoft certified trainers. The courseware is predominantly Microsoft official curriculum plus additional instructor led courseware. All participants will have access to hosted labs and you may be um, set labs to complete in or out of class. You will go through a mock technical interview to build your confidence towards the end of the program. All cohorts have access to pathway specific licenses and subscriptions. Participants are encouraged to complete personal projects to enhance their professional portfolio. These are the technical learning paths offered by MSSA. All three of those learning paths are avail available to US um, transiting service members based in the US. Um, the cybersecurity operations pathway is currently only available to transition in US service members or veterans and only offered in the US time zone. Um, April 2025 is the next server and cloud administration pathway um, offered by MSSA Europe with the application window opens no, um, next month, November the 4th. And excitingly, November 2025. 25 sees the first cloud application development pathway being offered by MSSA Europe. 
Um, this slide highlights the top level topics covered for each of the learning pathways. Additionally, each learning pathway will have at least one direct alignment with a Microsoft certification exam. If you are interested in fundamental certification, look for free events on the Microsoft Learn site. For your professional development, a career development manager or CDM will deliver a custom curriculum tailored specifically to career switches. We will help you perfect your interview skills, show you how to harness the power of LinkedIn, build your targeted CV or resume, and ultimately prepare you for those all important job interviews as you graduate the programme. Each Friday, participants have a dedicated mentor hour. These are Microsoft employees who volunteer their time to this programme and mentor you throughout its duration. They can help with insights into working in the corporate world. Each cohort has the option to attend a virtual hiring fair and they also have full access to the MSSA Jobs Board where our hiring partners will post roles that align with our curriculum. Once you graduate and become an alumni, you have access to a private LinkedIn group and we'll have a continued... slowdown on our zero near Brussels that is causing a delay. You can avoid it and save 43 minutes. Um, do you will have um, a private LinkedIn group and we'll have... Um, continued job search support if and when you need it in line with our once MSSA, always MSSA commitment. Now let's look at the application process. You can always refer to our website for full details on how to apply and that is where you'll find all the dates of our latest offerings. So I encourage you to continue to monitor the website. The application window typically opens five months prior to a cohort starting. The window is only open for two weeks and the application form is a Microsoft form and should take 15 to 20 minutes to complete. But that's all you need to do in those two weeks. Next, you need to provide certain documentation. For US active duty, we will need your pa um, packet approved by your command to release you. And for US veterans, we will need a copy of your DD-214. For UK service leavers, we'll need your JPA form proving you're in resettlement the MOD form 1173 or 1173 Alpha for early service leavers. And for UK veterans, we will need a copy of your proof of service record or a copy of your veterans ID card. There is also a learning path specific LinkedIn learning you need to complete. For UK service leavers or veterans who don't have LinkedIn Premium, please utilise the free two week trial to complete the LinkedIn learning. Once all your documents have been uh, received and approved, you'll be invited to interview. Further details of the application prerequisites are on the MSSA website. And here on this slide are the dates of, the, of um, Europe's next cohorts and the dates of the application window. So the next cycle starts on April the 25th, um, April 2025. So the cohort start will be um, April the 7th to August the 1st. The application window opens November um, the 18th till December the 2nd and materials cut off is January the 27th. Materials cut off, that's the date you have to have uploaded all your documents. If you haven't uploaded everything by that date, your application is automatically closed by the system. All el eligible applicants will be interviewed during the MSSA application process. The interview is 30 minutes via Teams and two members of Microsoft Military Affairs will take the interview. The interviewers are looking for your passion for technology, what motivated you to apply to MSSA, what are your career interests after graduation, um, evidence you can collaborate at work in diverse environments and your interest in learning new technical topics. We recommend applicants familiarise themselves with the STAR framework to effectively answer behavioural questions. For the Server and Cloud Administration or SCA path, here is the link to the required training that's here. And these are the topics covered in the training and what could be asked about at the, in the admissions interview. And this is the prerequisite learning for the cloud application development or CAD pathway. And the link again is at the bottom of the slide and the topics you need to be knowledgeable of in preparation for the admissions interview. Here are some useful links to information you might find useful. I want to draw your attention to the Tech Transition Toolkit. It's a great resource for anyone pursuing a role in tech after the military. 
for us veterans um here is how you can um get your years free linkedin premium for uk service leavers and veterans if you're successful and gain a place in mssa europe we will then see about your um, free linkedin premium in case MSSA isn't the right fit for you, we do have other Microsoft opportunities for you to consider. The Hiring Our Heroes Fellowship is open to US service members, veterans, military spouses and caregivers, and more information can be found on their website. If after this session you have further questions about any of the MSSA programmes, please feel free to email the team. Don't forget to monitor our website for all the application dates and future offerings and obviously follow us on all the socials. Everything I've touched on today is covered in much more detail on our website. Thank you for your time.